India has unleashed its most audacious technology play yet. 10 semiconductor projects worth 1.6 trillion rupees, that's 18.2 billion dollars, have been approved across six states. This is a blueprint for a full stack semiconductor economy. Design, fab, test, package. All happening inside India's borders. Back in 2022, when the United States blocked exports of advanced AI chips to China, a worldwide scramble for uh, semiconductor self-reliance began. India, for a very long, massive electronics consumer, but barely a footnote in chip manufacturing, spotted its opening and is now racing to catch up. At the heart of this silicon surge is Tata Electronics, teaming up with Taiwan's power chip semiconductor for a 910 billion rupees, that's 11 billion dollars, fab at Dwalera, Gujarat. It will produce chips for AI servers, EVs, microcontrollers and display drivers. Micron is adding a 2.5 billion dollar memory plant in Sanand, while CG Power with Renesas and Stars Microelectronics has launched an $863 million assembly and test facility. Assam will host Tata Semiconductor Assembly and Test, slated to go live by 2026. Odisha is home to India's first commercial compound semiconductor fab, a silicon carbide SEM Plus, the UK classic water fab project. Well, making silicon carbide chips for defense EVs and high efficiency solar inverters. 3D glass solutions is bringing advanced glass substrate packaging, the 3D heterogeneous integration tech powering next gen, high performance computing and photonics. Mohali's continental device will expand high power discrete lines, MOSFETs, IGBTs and diodes while advanced system in package technologies in Andhra Pradesh will churn out 96 million units of mobile and automotive chips every year. HCL plus Foxconn are scaling their Jevar Uttar Pradesh project and Keynes Semicon already has a pilot facility live in Gujarat. New Delhi has rewritten the rule book. 50% of capital costs for every fab testing and packaging unit are now covered, no matter the chip node size. A parallel scheme supports domestic electronic component manufacturing, finally creating a homegrown biobase for the chips these fabs will produce. A handful of fabs won't win the chip war. Let's be clear on that. Global manufacturers consider as many as 500 factors from ultra-pure chemicals to IP protection and logistics before committing billions. India has chip design strength. Arm will design two nanometer AI server chips in Bengaluru. But it must scale its supply of speciality chemicals, enforce stronger IP laws and build a million dollar semiconductor workforce to match Taiwan or the United States. This was covered extensively on front page just a few days ago. Make sure that you please check it out. So, the next three to four years will make or break this 18 billion dollar gamble. Fabs need vibration free sites. Five, nines pure purity materials and seamless road links. India must train over 1 million semiconductor professionals even as the world faces a talent crunch. ID Minister Ashwini Vaishnav called it a big milestone, end quote, declaring that ARM will design two nanometer chips right here in India. Only a handful of nations can even attempt this level of chip design. Proof that India Semiconductor Mission is now trusted by the biggest names in global semiconductors. Remember our earlier front page episode from 28NM to 7NM 
the leap begins with Tata. Tata's Gujarat fab is already building 28 nanometer chips with PSMC's help and the government set a 5 to 7 year roadmap to crack 14 nanometer chips and 7 nanometer chips. But before all of that, 7 nanometer goal is met. India is already hosting 2 nanometer chip design through ARM's new center. Design leadership has arrived ahead of the manufacturing roadmap. When we first broke the 7NM story, we told you about IBM and IMEC, India's knowledge partners. IBM built the world's first 2 nanometer chip in 2021. IMEC powers breakthroughs for TSMC and Intel. With ARM's 2 nanometer design hub, the other half of the puzzle, world-class chip design now lives in India. In just 11 years, India's electronics industry has grown six-fold to 11.5 lakh crore rupees, with exports up eight times. That's fascinating. Arm choosing Bengaluru for two nanometer chip design is not just a corporate expansion. It's actually a strategic vote of confidence, even as India races to manufacture 7 nanometer chips within 7 years, 2 nanometer designs will already be born in Bengaluru, ready to power the next generation of AI and mobile devices. India's $18 billion semiconductor blitz and its sudden leap to 2 nanometer chip design isn't just industrial policy, it's a geopolitical power play. Chips are the new oil and India is no longer just a consumer. It's racing to become an indispensable node in the global semiconductor value chain. And as we told you first on front page, the leap from 7NM, 7NM to 2NM proves the future of silicon is being written right here.